Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Dad's Princess Things. Let's get started in today's concept. Up to now in this HTML tutorials, we have seen many topics related to elements, attributes, headings, paragraph, and styles. If you didn't watch those videos of this HTML tutorial, go to my channel and visit the HTML web uh, playlist, then watch all those videos. Now we are continuing with the topic called HTML text formatting. In this, oh, what is you gonna learn about uh, the several elements for defining the text with a special meaning? Uh, how to define a text? Uh, what type of text it is? Which uh, type of font it take, gonna take? Uh, what type of text? Is, whether it is a superscript or subscript, or uh, if you wanna delete that one. Uh, so, like, was many different uh, definitions we can give to the particular text by using this text formatting tags. Uh, let's see one by one. So this is the example of that. Here you can see the text will be in different forms like you can see here. The first text you can observe this one is a bold text. It is a, a seen in a bright way. This is a bold text and this is a, this text is italic. The font is the italic you can observe here. And this is subscript and superscript. You can see here subscript means the elements which are uh, below then the actual text like a subscript and next uh, superscript means a power value like that you can see here just try this example for a clear understanding of this what meant by fonts and subscripts is anything what is meant by bold these are different types of uh, definitions we can give to the text that is b in the b, in the b i am giving the b tag included in the nested in the p tag that means paragraph tag the content in the paragraph will be i want to print in a bold also the text will be bold so that's why i am keeping this content in a b b tag b tag is not an empty tag so it has some content and also end tag you can see backslash b this is the end tag so that's why you're gonna print this text in a bold and next i am using a tag of i i is nothing but italic font i wanna the text which is included in this i tag to be printed in the italic font so i am including the, the i tag and a closing i tag then the text will be is like italic font and next uh, i'm giving the paragraph for uh, p in that the content which is i'm using this uh, this is a superscript and uh, this is a subscript and superscript i'm using the uh, tag called sub here you can see the sub tag i'm giving the sub open tag in in which uh, you want a content to be subscripted that content you have to write and you have to close the tag by the ending tag and next if you want a superscript then you have a sub tag sub tag sub tag you can use sup uh, bracket uh, and uh, the content you wanna be included should be right and uh, you have to close that tag like this wise you can give sub tags and super tabs uh, let's make it an example in a clear way you can also write them in a different manner uh, not to be included in a paragraph you can write in a separate way then also you will get those elements like that uh, you can observe here here i am i'm giving the first paragraph as a subscript you can see here and the second one is a superscript you can on a break line that you can add b r break line then that will be in a different line you can observe here you can see this is a subscript and this is a superscript uh, these subscripts are used by um, mostly in the power values like a a power a power n like that then you can use these things I think everyone is clear with this example. Uh, let's see one by one each. Next, uh, HTML formatting elements. Uh, what we have observed till now, these are the listed uh, are listed here. Formatting elements are designed to display special type types of texts. Which, which type of text do you want? It, you want this type of text, that font of text, bond, bold text you want. Which type of text you want will be defined by these formatting elements. The elements which we have is listed here. Observe one by one. This is a B tag which is used to give the bold text. This is a B tag used to give the bold text. Next we have a strong tag which is used to give the important text. A strong means it is also important. It gives a special preference to that text. Then we can say the strong text. This is similar to bold text but it has a special important. Uh, you can uh, it will be a different manner uh, compared to the other text which is included in the other parts. And we have a i tag which is an italic text. We can say we can uh, include the content which we wanna give, uh, give font of uh, italic. Then you can use this tag. And next we have a 
em em tag which is emphasize the text it's the same as an italic text how the font name is italic here we have the same uh, font of a, a text as is emphasize the text the font name is emphasize it and next uh, we can uh, uh, have a mark which is marked text we can say if you want to mark that particular uh, text then you can use the text in this in this tag then the text will be marked and we have a smaller text uh, compared to other paragraphs or anything which we want a smaller text just as a reference to that line then you can use this uh, small uh, tag and you have a delete tag which is a deleted text uh, you can include in this that the text will be deleted next we have a insert tag that if you want to insert the tag in the particular uh, uh, content then you can use this insert tag ins and you can subscript and superscript by using this sub tag and sub basically sub uh, next uh, go one by one uh, here i'm first uh, telling about the b tag and strong tag the b tag defines the bold text without any extra importance just a b tag giving only the bold text it doesn't give the extra importance to that particular uh, uh, content here you can observe the example this is a normal text and this is a bold text you can observe the differences which i am included in a b tag so, uh, so i am running this this is the output this is a normal text this is a bold text. you can see here this is the normal text uh, which is a normal form and uh, this text is a bold form you can see this is uh, having a bold type you can observe here yes the difference is very clearly appearing here and uh, uh, coming to the strong tag what is the difference between strong tag and uh, bold tag you can see here the strong tag defines that the text with importance uh, strong importance that the text is important they are like, they're not just uh, giving the bold they are giving the importance to that particular text will be included in this tag the content inside is typically displayed in bold it will display in bold but giving special importance let's see how it is giving the special importance the normal tag we can observe here this is the text is an important we can see here so what is the difference between this and bold tag? i if i am giving the same tag with the b uh, b tag let's see the example how it will be are you identifying that importance or not let's check it out i'm giving the b tag and p tag you can observe here this is the text which is having the bold this is similar to that of the uh, upper one also but we can see that strong tag is giving the importance to that particular text similar both but the importance matters next next the html i tag and em tag these two tags are the similar both describes about the font of the text which is included in that the uh, i tag defines a part of text in your alternative voice or mode the content inside is typically displayed in the italic the content which is included in this tag will be displayed in the italic font we can observe here in this tag this tag is used to indicate a uh, technical term a phrase or another language a thought or a ship uh, ship name etc when we use this type of font it, why you want to use italic font uh, why it's special or this means uh, since some uh, web pages or anything they uh, they use this type of italic fonts to describe a phase of, of for another language thought or like that they, uh, they use this type of fonts hey, uh, i i is the font this is italic uh, i uh, you can try to here yes this is the normal form this is there you can see how different from uh, the normal text the italic when we use the i tag here uh, you can use any text you can see here I am giving some KKK so you see that everything will be included in this tag will be printed in the italic form so likewise the uh, the I tag works and we have a EM element uh, that is uh, EM tag which uh, emphasizes a text tag but this includes that the content inside this em tag will be displayed in italic but the screen recorder will pronounce that em with emphasis using verbal stress you can see here oh emphasize it you see it will be italic but it is giving in a different fashion like uh, contrast to the italic you can observe the same difference if we given italic here the particular italic and upper one is the emphasized one compressed we can say so see um, majorly similar but uh, the working on uh, inside will be different definition of that will be different but the displaying content will be right uh, uh, somewhat uh, same 
so this is all about i and em tag and we have a small element uh, that is a small tag by using this small tag you can define the text which is inside will be a smaller in the size we can say and here we have the example we can see this is a normal text this is a smaller text because we is including this in the small uh, um, tag you can see here it will be smaller compared to this normal text that is all about the small tag which is used to give the formatting of the text this is all about text formatting right and we have a mark element uh, which is uh, used by using a mark tag we can uh, mark the text mark is nothing but highlighting the particular text which you want uh, like observe this one or uh, if you get clarity on that do you want to do don't forget to buy the milk today i am giving the milk particular milk in the mark you can see here the mark will highlight the particular uh, thing which is mentioned inside it i am marking this one so it will be marked or you can write anything uh, uh, if you want to make uh, more clear today only then you can mark today like was which is a main important content you can see in some web pages uh, the main highlighted one uh, the one, main highlighted important thing will be highlighted in this uh, yellow color like that uh, if you want to highlight something in your web page you can use this mark uh, tag there then it will be uh, highlighted like this so that is all about the mark tag use it to highlight the particular text included inside it next we have a delete element which is nothing but by using a delete tag we can define the text that has been deleted from the document browser will usually strike a line through the deleted element in some uh, things uh, they give uh, some text but it is deleted like you can say we have a, a line on that then it, that type of can things can be done by using this delete tag so delete the del, del tag open tag and close tag in that we have to uh, give that content which you're gonna uh, uh, dash which you're gonna make a dash on that so this is uh, the text which i have given i'm dashing on the blue one or you can also dash on the color uh, also like i'm giving delete on the here or uh, for the red one you can close it let's observe you will get a mark on red also so like that you can uh, um, uh, mark or delete or uh, uh make a highlight things you can done by the it can be done by this text formatting tags and we have another one called uh, insert which is a ins this element used to uh, define a text in, in in the document like uh, this text to be inserted like we can say usually underline insert text it this makes uh, 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 which i have seen in deleted we are uh, crossing that and instead of crossing that uh, we are highlighting by using this inside that is i am underlining or uh, not deleting this here you can observe the blue and red i am giving blue in a delete tag and also red in a insert tag you can see here the difference is blue tag is uh, uh, which is uh, deleted and red tag which is inserted so you have uh, the dash underline part the highlighted thing or we can also highlight this for example we can write this as a highlight means mark we can do two things at a time right i'm giving mark mark means i want to highlight that part and we also insert so you can see uh, the highlighting is also done and marking is also done and uh, that is also done we can also delete that element we, uh, at, at that instance let's check it out we can i'm giving delete here i'm closing delete here so let's see what will happen here we can see i'm giving applying three things for the only red one so i'm deleting it marking it and also inserting it so you can see here uh red has a uh, uh, underline and uh, strike off and also a colored so you can use these things also we can also give this as italic that is i i'm giving i for that that is of italic let's see how it will be you can see the text of the red is also changed so likewise you can apply many things on the same content or uh, other content you can see finally we have uh, this uh, sub element which is nothing but a subscript defining a subscript test is used by using this sub 
subscript text appears as a half of the character below the form a uh, normal line below the normal line a uh, subscript will be a uh, below the normal line and it sometimes uh, uh, rendered in a smaller font in sometimes it will get in a smaller size subscript text can be used for chemical formulas like so for the things you want a base you you want some content to be in a base uh, base side or below the normal line then you are going to use this tag then it will be helpful to you let's see uh, how it works this is a subscripted you can see this in the base tag we have seen and we can use this for uh, h2o let's write that one h i'm given and i'm using a sub sub tag and two i'm using i want to this sub uh, in the base two and i'm closing the sub h2o i'm giving let's see how it will be look like just see the output then you can see i am uh, successfully printed the h2o formula like this or you can uh, you can tell uh, uh, 10 basics like that in the log in the log things you can say uh, what i am saying a uh, 10 i'm sorry 10 basics like that in some things we will use i'm giving subscript just like uh, the uh, content which to be in uh, below the lower line below the normal line you can say i am giving 10x like that you can give many things which you want to include in your sub subscript by using this sub tag sub tag and we have a sub super as you piece sub sub element in super super subscript test like in contrast to the sub tag you can uh, have a superscript which appears as the half char characters above the uh, normal line whereas uh, in the subscript you can have the in the below the normal line in the superscript you have the above the uh, normal line it is sometimes rendered in a smaller form a smaller form it will render and also subscript or text can be used for the food uh, food notes like that you can have in that a w w a reference is one like that we have to be include anything we have to include in a subscript then you are going to use this uh, super subscript tag superscript tag so this is superscripted text you can see here the superscript is below the normal line it is actually printing like that or we can use that uh, thing which have seen the example like ww referring is one like we they can do ww and giving a superscript of uh, of uh, what um in the bracket one right So I'm closing that uh, tag by using this closing tag, and also I'm closing the p tag also. So let's try how it will like you can see uh, the subscript is super subscript will be given here. Uh, likewise, we can do many things by using this super scripted tag, which is su. Guys, we have exercises and uh, or. Uh, formatting text as elements like uh, many things here so these are the things the uh, exercise and uh, text formatting elements like i have b e m i small strong sub Insert delete mark, which have discussed in uh, the bill uh, before this, and this uh, we have an exercise which is a degradation, extra importance in the word degradation, extra importance in what we have to give that we can give it as mark, and I'm closing that mark tag. Like we can give extra importance, or by uh, importance we can say. emphasize tag also like was what tag should be included we can write here we can uh, submit the exercise so that you can practice and uh, so that's all for today thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel if you are didn't subscribe yet and uh, click the bell icon below to get notified each time when we upload a new video uh, so that you won't be uh, miss any videos if i upload uh, in this tutorial or uh, any other concepts and also if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and uh, if your friends and colleagues are in such of any web uh, developer sites so such like this site and uh, our tutorials hope you enjoyed this video and uh, so that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye